Dear God, on Palm Sunday, we remember when Jesus rode into Jerusalem. Jesus rode on a donkey, humbly and peacefully. People waved palms and shouted, Hosanna! Help me, Jesus, to be as humble as you were when you rode on the donkey. Open our eyes to see you, Jesus, and to welcome you into our lives. Send us to make sacrifices for others as you did for us. Act as our guide as we follow your teachings. Never forget the sacrifices you made for us. Now we rejoice in the King of Glory come to save us. All around, the crowds were praising Jesus as he entered into Jerusalem. Hosanna! Blessed is the one that comes in the name of the Lord. Help us, O oh God, to remember Jesus' sacrifices for us and to follow his example of love and peace. Amen. 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 Palm Sunday is the Sunday before Easter and it tells the story of when Jesus and his disciples came into Jerusalem. I want to tell you the story called A Palm Parade. A Palm Parade. The people of Jerusalem were gathered on the street. They heard a brand new king was near, whom they would like to meet. They all had come from miles around to see the king's parade. They put their coats down on the ground, a tiny path they made. They looked around and soon they found some branches on a tree. They waved the branches overhead up where the king could see. I hear the king tells parables, a man cheered out with glee. I hear he does some miracles and makes the blind to see. I heard he has no crown or jewels. I heard he has no throne. I heard he teaches love and peace and calls us all his own. Look, there he is along the road. I think I see him now. Let's raise our branches higher still and we do not have to bow. Our king has come. Let's play a drum and let the children sing. He's riding a donkey. He's a very humble king. Now that he's here, we all will cheer and sing Hosanna too. For this new king is just the thing to make us feel brand new. And that's why on Palm Sunday, sometimes we have palm branches waving in the church. And everyone says and sings Hosanna. And some people like to make a cross out of their palm branch. I hope you have a happy Palm Sunday. Enjoy. Well, welcome to Craft Time. Thanks for joining us today in Sunday School. This is exciting because for the last three weeks, we have been looking at Palm Sunday. And that's the Sunday that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey and they proclaimed him king. So last week and the week before, we made palms, but we're still missing one thing to celebrate Palm Sunday really well. And that is a donkey. Because Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, so we'll need a donkey. So our craft today is going to be making a donkey. So for this craft, you'll need a paper plate. You'll need uh, yarn or string. You'll need clothespins or popsicle sticks, glue, scissors, some paper and crayons. And I will see you at the craft table. You go get your supplies and I'll meet you there. See you soon. 
Well, welcome to the craft table. As I talked about, we are making a donkey today to go with our palms so that we can really celebrate Palm Sunday and wave the palms and have a donkey that Jesus can ride into Jerusalem on. So as I said, for this craft, you'll need a paper plate, some paper, pencil, scissors, some clothespins for legs, or you can use popsicle sticks. Uh, I'm going to use clothespins today because they're a little easier to use. Some glue or tape, although tape doesn't really work super well. The best glue is to use white glue for this, but you will have to wait a little while for it to dry. And then we always have our little glue stick. So the first thing we're going to do is fold the paper plate in half. We want to try and get it exactly in half so that it is a good body for our donkey. Once we have that, it's helpful to just pinch the top really quick so that the fold stays. Because we want that fold to stay, we don't want it to open up too much. So you see how that's staying nice and tight now. The next thing we need to do is get a head. Now, I'm not a very good artist. You, if you're a good artist, you can just draw one, a donkey head, on a piece of paper. But what I did was went to the internet and just printed off a picture of a donkey and then I cut out the donkey's head. And what I can do is I can trace it and use that for my head. So you see I have a little outline of my donkey head. Um, and if you cut that out, you get a, a parent or adult to help you with the scissors because there is some complicated cutting in this. You can then have that for your donkey head. Now, because I already have one cut out, I like this guy, because it's all colored and brown already, although if you are an artist, you can color yours as well. So the first thing we have to do is we have to attach our donkey head to the paper plate. Remember I said that the white glue works best for this. It does stick the best, although you do have to wait a couple seconds for it to dry properly. It'll get tacky right away. There we go. I'm going to press down and just hold. And while that's holding, I will get our string. So we have a donkey. There's his body. You can see it's starting to take shape already. There's his body. And there's his little head. It's a very cute donkey, isn't it? Now we have some string for the donkey's tail. For this, you can use the glue stick if you want because the yarn sticks a little easier than the paper head. And just pop that on there. And I gave him a nice long tail because donkeys have long tails, don't they? Have you ever seen a donkey? Maybe at a zoo or a farm? They do have long tails. So we have our tail on there. We have our head on there. I'm just going to stick the clothespins. This is why I like using clothespins because they stick really quickly. You don't even have to glue them on. And you all of a sudden have your legs. And there is our donkey craft. He's a good looking little donkey. Now if you have some crayons or pencil crayons at home, you can color them as well if you like. Uh, and there is our donkey craft. So have fun building our donkey and let's get ready for Palm Sunday and wave our palms and have our donkey as Jesus rides into Jerusalem. Have a great day and thanks for joining me at the craft table. Bye.